from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Vanessa Ariza. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News headlines. Tampa police say they now know the body found near Cypress Point Park is that of a male. That man was found in the water around 4 o'clock Friday afternoon. No other details have been released, and officers are still working to determine how he died. President Joe Biden speaking out about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The president speaking in front of a crowd of about 1,000 Ukrainians. Biden declaring Putin's weeks of attacks are backfiring and that NATO and Ukraine are stronger than before. On Saturday, several powerful explosions rocked the city of Lviv. Russia now pushing for a mission reset after suffering repeated setbacks on the battlefield. Well, it's almost been a year since Ronnie O'Neill was sentenced to life in prison. He murdered his nine-year-old daughter and the mother of their two children. The trial may be over, but life for his family has not been easy. ABC Action News recently spoke with Camille Kelly, O'Neill's niece, and her mother, Amber How Howard. They tell us that on top of the trauma that they have experienced with O'Neill's murder trial, Camille's father, Alonzo, recently died. This is a lot to process for 10 year old Camille, but Howard tells us one way that her daughter is moving forward is through music and she's even written her own song. Before my daddy died, it was he was going to come out with the rapping song. She gets in there and she feels like when she's rapping, she's rapping to him. Howard tells us that she's proud of the progress that Camille has made, but she adds that there's a big need in the community for safe spaces that allow kids to grieve. Let's bring in meteorologist Jason Adams for a look at your forecast. And Airfest looks beautiful just like it did today. We're going to see lots of sunshine, temperatures into the upper 70s, low humidity. Please don't forget the sunscreen if you're going to be out there for eight hours. That sun angle still high, even though temperatures are a little cooler than they have been. Of course, that doesn't affect the UV index, so burn times are less than 30 minutes without protection. So be sure to make sure you've got the sunscreen, the ball cap. Don't forget, drink lots of water, too, because even though these temperatures are cool, if you're out there all day, you could actually still deal with a little bit of a heat concern for us. Now, heading into next week, the heat does return and those temperatures rise back into the 80s starting Monday, but the humidity comes back by Wednesday. So be prepared for that again. Take advantage of the low humidity and the comfortable conditions while we have them this weekend.